thanks for joining us today, uh, Yolanda. My pleasure. So could you uh, share with us some of the uh, key highlights that you, you feel that which are really important from these few days of meetings? Perhaps what has impressed me the most is the, the sense of increased awareness and commitment. Mm. So we listen to world leaders, heads of state, right. and you, you can send a sense in the powerful messages, the, the commitment very serious about it, that yeah. we need it because yeah. we are uh, facing a biodiversity loss right. crisis. You know, ADB has been involved uh, you know, with the PRC over the last uh, three decades doing various projects. Uh, how is ADB now um, helping uh, PRC to achieve its uh, ecological civilization goals? Indeed, ADB has been uh, supporting the goals of the ecological civilization since the very beginning, when, when this concept was launched in 2011 yeah. as part of the 12-5-year uh, plan. Right. So ever since, more than 90% of ADB projects in China right. have targeted and supported environmentally sustainable right. development. And we are now scaling up the efforts under the new country partnership for the okay. next five years, okay. which has two major strategic priorities right. at its core, which is climate change adaptation and mitigation right. and environmentally sustainable development. Right. Okay. Among those, mm -hmm. biodiversity conservation right. features prominently for the first time right. in an ADV strategy in China yeah with a focus on protection and wise use of wetlands and right. natural capital and programmatic approaches okay. for river basin management right. at the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers. Right, right. How do ADB or in general uh, balance the, between the concentration between biodiversity conservation and economic development? More than 45 trillion US dollars, which is half of the mm. global GDP depends on nature. We cannot mm. uh, develop mm. at the expense of nature. Right. And this means that we need to find a balance. I think in this regard, we have very good examples in, yeah. in ADB operations yeah. in China. Some yeah. of the areas that contribute to this, right. like for instance, transforming our cities right. into low carbon green areas, sure. shifting into cleaner, sure. newer, uh, renewable uh, right. sources of energy right. or uh, fostering new concepts like the circular economy right. and making agriculture practices right. climate smart. What do you think are the, some key lessons that can be shared uh, on this front with uh, other developing uh, member countries? After more than, than a decade of, of intense focus on these critical areas, we have collected a, a wide series of uh, useful lessons that can be shared with other countries right. and easily replicated. Right. And I think I would like to highlight a few examples yeah. of, of the wider sure. Uh, sure. lessons. Sure. Perhaps starting with the, with the one I think is the most important yeah. one, which yeah. is a country ownership. Sure. Uh, I think China offers an excellent example right. by enshrining the concept of the right. ecological management right. and the ecological civilization sure. in the uh, constitution, yeah. it has integrated the concept yeah. into the legal and right. policy framework. Right. And yeah. this allows us in turn to align closely our operations sure. to the plans, policies and targets right. Right. of the of the government. Right. Another relevant aspect is the approach. Right. The approach matters. Yeah. Uh, we need to keep in mind that biodiversity conservation, climate change adaptation, mitigation, ecosystem protection are very complex issues. Sure. And the old traditional approach doesn't work. Right. We need to come up with integrated multi-sector approaches right, to tackle right. all, angles, all angles and yeah. also the deep interconnection between all these uh, challenges. Yes, right. Another aspect is partnership. Right. One actor alone Sure, definitely. Cannot yeah, handle this. Yeah, One right. government alone sure. cannot handle this. Yeah. We need to pull together our resources, yeah. our expertise, right. and look for synergies and sure. collective results. Uh, that's right. And finally, innovation sure. is also yeah. very important. Yeah. Uh, we need to find innovative solutions right. for the challenges of the 21st century. Right. 
And in that regard, uh, ADB has been privileged to pilot and pioneer very important innovative approaches in China mm -hmm. because of China's comparatively uh, more advanced sure. development stage. And right. one good example of this is uh, eco-compensation right. uh, mechanisms that sure. we have successfully piloted mm -hmm. in the Yangtze River and now yeah. we are going to replicate in the Yellow River.